my channel. My name is Valerie and for today's video I'm going to show you guys the whole process of how I braid my own hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and base my scalp or grease it, whatever you want to call it. So the hair I usually use to braid my hair is just expression hair. There are lots of brands out there that carry expression hair. So this particular brand that I'm using today is called Gina Collection and I'm using color 2 and I can't decide if I want some color but I'm probably going to use this color, it's color 30 and I'm going to use this for the back if I decide to add color to my hair. So this is the hair, it's so long. Yeah, it's very long. I'm going to use color 30 for my back and I want waist length braids so since I'm a little bit short and since it's going to be in the back, I'm actually going to cut this into three sections and I'm going to cut the other ones into two sections. So I went ahead and cut the hair into three equal sections and I've already feathered this one. I wanted to show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and feather the rest of the other hair extensions and also cut the black pieces into two sections and go through the same process of getting it to look like this and I'm going to show you guys what I did. So you want to make sure the hair is even at the top and you're going to go ahead and grip it tightly. You have to grip it tightly or it's just going to fly through your hands. So I have a tight grip on the hair and I'm going to go ahead and take a section. And what I do is I use these two fingers to pinch the hair. So I pinch a little section with these two fingers like so. Use these two fingers to gently pull the hair. And I am holding it tightly with these fingers because if, if I don't hold it tight, the hair is going to slide out of my hand just like that. So you want to make sure that you grip the hair tightly. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So I'm holding the hair very tightly. I take a piece and I stretch it just a little bit. I'm not pulling the hair, I'm just stretching it. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep stretching little strands of it. And honestly, once you get the hang of this, you can do this so quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it slowly for you guys so you see what I'm doing. So I'm gripping the hair and I'm going to go ahead and tug on it a little bit and stretch the hair. I'm going to do this quickly so you guys are just going to see me rushing through this. So like I said, once you get the hang of it, you can do this so fast and it's actually kind of fun sometimes to do this. thinning out compared to this part it's bulky so I'm gonna keep doing that so I finished and this is what the other side looks like but don't worry we're going to brush it out so I like to use a brush or a comb it doesn't really matter but you want to make sure that if you're using a comb it's a wide tooth comb so once you finish feathering the tips and you're ready to comb the hair you want to hold it firmly in the middle I just wrapped it around my hand so it's easier to show you guys but I'm going to go ahead and gently comb it from the ends and work my way up. All of my hair in a ponytail and I will just part each section as I go. I also like to use this to hold my hair. It's the Jam Custard and it's just cream gel. It makes it easier to hold my baby hairs and any short hairs that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and look into both mirrors and part the first row. into two so it's four sections total so I take a chunk of hair and I'm going to part it into two sections and I'm going to part it into two and I have this big piece and then a smaller piece. I cross them just like so I place a smaller piece under and bring it over just like this make this little sign and I put that under this side of the hair so this is the smaller piece. I put, I do this and I put it under to grip it. So my hand is like this. I go under and I grip it just like this. And with this hand, I just grab the bottom portion just like this. 
So I just grab this section and this side is free, just hanging. So this is how I hold the hair to braid. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the cream gel to my hair and I'm gonna put it on all my little baby hair so I'm able to grip those hairs. So again, I hold the hair like so and I hold this side and I'm ready to braid. So this is the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this middle portion of the hair which I'm not holding. I place that on top of my own hair and I grip it like so and go under. I just braid. So I'm going to do it again so you guys can see what I'm doing. Holding the hair. easily so I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of this and I'll see you guys soon. so we are finally done I finished braiding all my hair but I still need to clean my braids so I take a braid and I just try to snip off any random hair so the braid is neat and you have to be very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to cut off your actual hair. This is why I take my time braiding so I make sure that all my natural hair is tucked inside the hair extension. So when it's time for me to cut and clean my braids, I do not cut my hair because I would, I would really cry if I cut my hair. <laughs> if I was doing this for a client, I'd take my time and clean each braid. But I'm quite tired and feeling lazy so I'm not going to snip off each braid. I'm just going to take a bunch of them and just clean it. So I just grab the braids and carefully snip away any loose hair or fly away hair. This is the fly away hair that I'm talking about and I just snip off this piece and all these random hairs around the braid. to clean my braids this is just an extra step you don't have to do this but since I didn't really clean my braids well I'm going to use this ladder to clean them again
finally done. We made it all the way to the end, and of course, here is the finish. They look really nice, and I'm so glad that I was able to share this whole process with you guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below. And really, all I'll do next will probably just spray my braids with some oil sheen and oil my scalp really and just style them anyhow I please. So that's really all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. And I do hope that someone tries to braid their own hair by themselves. So after watching this video, you're inspired to also try to braid your hair please do so and send me a picture. I'd like to see it. So don't forget to add me on Instagram. Add me on Instagram. <laughs> Follow me on my Instagram. It's Miss Valerie with three E's. It's going to pop up on the screen. But yeah, if you decide to braid your own hair, I'd like to see it. So thank you all for watching. I am, I'm so in love with my braids. Like, wow, they look really good. And I'm just so happy and pleased with the final results. So thank you all for watching. I am quite tired definitely tired but it was totally worth it all right bye guys <laughs> i'm in the beauty section of course and i actually needed a new liquid liner um eyeliner so i'm going to try this nyx matte liquid liner and i also got a contour brush from elf and i'm just looking at other things too <laughs>